Another important 5 Series feature, and this is something we've incorporated in a few previous models, but it's across the board in all the 5 Series models, is the way we do deck step masts. Now, there was a time when deck step masts were a bit um, controversial and a bit out of favor for offshore boats. So we carefully analyzed all the reasons why that would be and engineered each, the, each of those problems out of a deck step mast. The problem with many deck step masts is they put the deck in compression in a sandwich between a compression post below deck and the mast on top of the deck. And they were they both two together. What would happen is the mast would work a little, as masts do, and the structure would work a little, and then you'd see older boats that had deck step masts with that kind of construction with lots of cracks radiating from around the mast. And if any water got in the core, you'd see some, some dimpling there. Uh, not a good thing. So what we thought would be best is if, just like a keel step mast, there was metal to metal from the mast head all the way down to the keel, just as you'd have with a keel step mast. The problems with keel step masts are well, lots of leak potential around uh, the, uh, the partners, the mast collar, right? the mast goes through the deck, and uh, additional noise from that, and moisture and condensation inside the boat. So we still, it's better to end the mast at the deck if you can find some way to transmit all the forces down through to the keel without putting the deck in compression or relying on any internal structure. So what we've done is all of our compression posts, and this represents a compression post, have a plate welded to the top. And you can see them on all our current top five series boats. That plate's anywhere from a half to three quarters of an inch thick. And we both use both aluminum and stainless steel compression posts. But that plate is welded to the top of the compression post. And then the whole plate is put down through the deck after we uh, cut a hole in the deck. In some cases, the, the hole is molded. And we put a little groove in there so we have a place for sealant to go. So when this plate on top of the compression post goes down through, it captures some sealant. Then to make sure we don't have any leaks from that, we have a plate that goes all the way around the mast collar that's embedded in the deck. And the fasteners that hold down the compression post plate are tapped into, the, um, into this aluminum structure from around the perimeter. Absolutely leak proof. And no opportunity for water to, uh, to get into the boat. And we have a wire chase that goes through here. Uh, most of our boats now have a stand pipe inside. So the wires enter and go down through, through here, and there's a standpipe inside the uh, compression post. And then the wires come down and exit through the bottom of the uh, plate at the bottom of the compression post, through the stainless steel beam that's here, and then we usually weld a ring right here so that the wires as they come down and turn out have a chafe-proof surface. So you can easily lead another wire through the mast and up through the compression post. All the acetylene masts we use now have access plates on the sides. So you can remove the plate, reach in and grab the wires. It's a, I, I think it's the highest evolution of the system we've ever done. It's leak proof and structurally it works extremely well because you resolve all the loads right down to the keel, metal to metal.